Hey guys, it's Christian here from Solitech Solutions. A common question that we get from our customers is how to create wire numbers. Not only am I going to show you how to create them, I'm also going to show you how to customize them towards your company standard. So let's go ahead and have a look at my schematic that you can all see on my screen. First of all, I'm just going to generate the standard wire numbers that is set up straight out of the box inside SolidWorks Electrical. To generate wire numbers, I can just click here on number new wires. This will number all the wires in my document book over here. However, I'm just going to generate some numbers on this sheet. So what I will do is I'm going to renumber wires in my current schematic. I'm going to select this box over here number new wires and recalculate existing wire marks. If I now click on OK, I can see that all the wires have numbers. So we've got two here. If I go down, you can see that the three, 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 and over here is one. So just as a number, so that we can identify those values. However, most companies have their own standard. For instance, each wire number, the first two numbers should be the sheet number. The second two numbers should be the column number. And the last two numbers should be, for instance, a sequential number starting from one and going up to how, however many there are in this schematic. So let's go ahead and have a look how to do that. Now, first of all, what we're going to do is we need to go to the wire manager. To get to the wire manager, there are two ways of going about that. We click on project, configurations, and we click on mark. Now over here, there's the wire style manager. And this is another very important thing here. We can de determine how the wires are going to be numbered from top to bottom and then from left to right, or from left to right and then from top to bottom. I'm going to select this one over here, from top to bottom and then left to the right. So our sequential number will be 1, then go down 2, go down 3, etc. and set up from left to right. Next, I'm going to click the Wire Style Manager. I've just got some wires set up over here. As you can see, I used the color red for my AC control wires, so I'm just going to modify them. Double click on the actual wire. And as you can see, we're now in the properties of the wire that I've set up. Next, what I'm going to do is I just make this a bit smaller here, maybe better for the screen. Next thing that I'm going to do here is underneath this equipotential formula, you can see that it just uses that single number over here. Now, this is where the magic happens. We can actually customize this to our needs. So as I said, first that I want to do is I want to use the actual sheet number. So I'm just simply going to double click here on file mark, which represents the actual sheet number. We've got also our location and function mark, and but I'm not going to go into too much detail about all these variables here. And next, what I'm going to do is we're going to use the column number. So that is underneath location, and we use our column number. And the last thing that I wanted was a sequential number, um, but two characters. So 01, 02, 03, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm simply going to double click this one over here. Now this line of code that you can see over here, that's just simply the equipotential counter. And that just uses two digits. So I'm going to do the same thing over here because I want my column also to be two digits. And you can see as soon as I make a change, it will actually tell me that I, the formula is wrong at the moment. That's correct because it's still incomplete. And I'm just going to use the exact same format as that you could, can see on this side over here. So comma. Now this means I want two digits and I want to start with the zero and close the bracket. And that should be it. So if I now click on OK, and click on OK again, and click on Close down here in the corner, and click on OK again. 
the first thing that I need to do is I need to delete the original wire numbers that I've created. So I'm going to head and select um, process, left click on renumber wires. I'm going to do it again for the current scheme. I'm going to remove the wire numbers and I'm going to click on OK. If you haven't placed the wire numbers, you don't have to do this. Next, I'm going to place the numbers. So I'm going to renumber the wire, current scheme, number new wires, and click on OK. And as you can see now, 040602. So this actually comes from sheet number four. So I know, okay, this drawing here starts at sheet number four, column number six. I can see here that this is on sheet number five, column number two, and it's the first instance or the first, it's just a sequential number. If we would place a component in between here, we would actually see that the sequential counter is working as well. So let me just show you that quickly. I'm just going to delete the numbers and let's just copy this light or indicator, I'm sorry, and just place that over here. Now let's renumber the wires and click on OK. So 05, sheet 5, column 2, instance 1, sheet 5, column 2, instance 2. This one is not instance 3 because this equipotential is actually sitting on the other sheet. It's the exact same wire. Okay, guys, that's it for this week's um, technical tip. Hope to see you all next week. And thanks for watching.